Previously on Perp Plays Baldur Gate 3, we killed this ogre defending an entrance to a secret room. We also tried to do some parkour to find some more secrets. While we were doing all this parkour, the devil shows up and introduces himself. After discussing the appearance of the devil with the party, we continued our adventure. Calm down, I'm here to help. You are? I... I need to get out of here. You came looking for the Nightstone, didn't you? Yes. It, it should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. What else do you know about the temple? Any other treasures? I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the night song. Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I, I don't want to die. One more question. What happened to the druid? Helsin, I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. I'm not going to leave you here. Th thank you. Th thank you so much. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What did the goblins want from you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. What does the Nightstone do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Ah, oh, my friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? How did you end up in this place? Curiosity, my friend. It didn't benefit the cat, but it's the foundation of my career. Though I admit I've hit something of an impasse. Please, unlock my cell. What career could possibly involve getting locked up by goblins? Volotep, get up! 
realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. All right, I'll get you out. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. You, I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? A fine mess you've landed yourself in. How'd you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings. Once we've found someone safe to parley. Split the yoke? How do you intend to do that exactly? An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share a flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Take you first. I don't fancy their chances.
no holding back. Making the move. Off. This one's for the pups. What's up for discussion? You have to see the bear. Just follow the noise. Warwick's have been going crazy for it. Just hope these scraps will satisfy the bunch when they're in this state. <laughs> again! Again! Make it squeal again! He's helpless. Let him go. He's staying right here. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. I'm putting an end to this now.
step forward. Fearless. Listen, you! Turn down the hasting trout home!
heading there. his path. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but 
Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I heard you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. Indeed. Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I escaped the Illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tell me what you have learned about the tadpoles' origin. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. All right, how do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Having a shape-shifting bear druid at my side may make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Come with me. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Well, then. How can I help? Shah's blessings upon you. Well, this is it. Thanks everybody for watching part 13. Leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. The next episode is being worked on. See you guys later.